Hey everybody, this is Damien here. I'm the Customer Success Manager here at Trade the Fifth. Uh, I'm just going to give you guys a quick uh, installation guide on our Elliott Wave Suite indicator for the TradeStation version 9.5 platform. Um, so basically, once you purchase the product, you're going to get an email from us. Uh, it looks a little bit like this. Um, so basically, we're just going to download two files, okay? So you're going to click the Elliott Wave 9.5 deal file setup, and you're going to download the Elliott Wave indicator suite. So once you've downloaded both those files, you're going to open up the 9.5 deal file setup. Okay, it's going to take literally two seconds to install the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. You don't need to do anything with. Just make sure you take a note of exactly where you saved that file. So we're just going to click uh, the download for this file. This is what it looks like. So all we're going to do is just click the button install and it's done. Like I said, two seconds and not even that. And we click finish. And so now here we are on the TradeStation 9.5 platform. Um, first thing you're going to need is a license key from us. Okay, so we need a copy of your customer number. So to do that, you're going to come up to here to help in the top bar here. You're going to go down and select about TradeStation 9.5. And down here, you can see the customer number. Now copy that, paste that number into an email, and email us info at tradethefifth.com. I'll then send you a copy of your license key, which you will paste in at a later date. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to actually import the Elliott Wave indicator. So to do this, we're going to go up to the top here again. We're going to go to File, and we're going to come down to Import, Export, Easy Language. Over here, we want the second one down, which is the ELD, ELS, and ELA files. Click Next, and this is where we need to find the file. This is why I said earlier on that you need to make sure you make a note of exactly where you saved the file. So we go Browse. I've saved mine in the Downloads, so I'm just going to double click here and click Next. Make sure that both of these are checked, and select Next. And then again, make sure all of these are checked as well, and click Finish. You're going to get a couple of pop-up messages appear. Just make sure you click OK or Yes to All, like this, like this, like that, and then it's installed. And eventually you're going to get a message like this saying that you've successfully imported your analysis techniques. So we're going to click OK. Unlike myself, you may not necessarily have a chart open as soon as you do open TradeStation. So for this, I'm just going to close my one down. Just click OK. Um, what you need to do now is you need to go to the left and select trading apps and then obviously go to chart analysis. You're going to click that and then it will open up your, your recent chart for you. So in order to actually uh, assign the wave indicator, we're going to right click and we are going to put insert analysis technique. Now for us, um, what we need is the Elliott wave the Elliott Wave Oscillator and the False Breakout Stochastic. So I'm holding Control to cl uh, click all three, but if you're using a Mac, you can use Command Button as well. And I'm just going to click OK. Now you're going to get a message that says basically that the, the license key is missing. That's fine. So we're just going to click the X button there. Now the next stage is we need to format that analysis technique. So we're going to right click again. This time we're going to go to the top here and we're going to format analysis techniques. You'll notice here that the Elliott wave is status is off. So to turn that on, we're going to click the button status here. Now you see it's changed to on and we need to now format it. So we format it. This is where the uh, license key is. So you're just going to paste in the license key I've sent to you. Uh, and you also need to change the start bar here to one. Now you change that then to default, you select yes, and then you go OK, and then close. So now that you can see the pullback zones are appearing, what we need to do now is we need to refine this. So we're going to look for a recent high or low. That basically allows us to signify the origin of a current trend and isolate that specific wave count. So in order to do this, we're going to go up to the top here, and you see the little speech icon here. That's the analysis commentary tool. We're just going to click that. Now, for a recent high, we would click above the high candle. For a recent low, we would click below the candle. Okay. So for this one, we're just going to click above here. And we'll see here that the current bar is number 284. So we're going to take a note of that number, 
close that down, right click, and then we're going to go back to Format Analysis Techniques. Make sure that the Elliott Wave is highlighted and then click Format again. Up here, where we change the start bar to 1, we're going to double click and highlight that 1. And we're going to change the number to number 284. And we're going to click OK. And then we're going to close it. And now you can see it started the count at that point, And the pullback zones have now changed. And obviously, we've got a lot of bit of information here. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see a bit better. And now you can see that the wave counts are in there, so you can then start doing what you need to do. And the wave count for number five has just appeared there. One edit that we like to do here is we like to do a little bit of styling on the 6-4 line. So what we're going to do here is run your mouse over the blue line. We're going to right click and we're going to click here Format Elliott Wave. Now we're going to go back up here and we're going to go to Style. And you can see here that the market average buy and the market average sell. We're just going to change that to a slightly thicker line uh, on both of those. And what we also want to do is the color wise, we keep the sell line as red, but definitely would recommend changing the, the buy line to green. Makes it much easier to read. And then we're just going to click OK. And there you have it, something a little bit clearer and a little bit easier for you guys to read, especially if you do zoom out. There you go. And finally, I just want to go through the data set rules. This is hugely important because if you get these wrong or if you go back too far, you're not going to get the information correct or it's going to slow the system down dramatically because there's so many different uh, algorithms being run. Okay, So if you're doing a chart time frame of 15 minutes or less, you don't want to go back any further than five days. If you're doing 50 to 60 minutes, uh, 60 days really, 240 minutes, one year, and then obviously you can see daily is two years. And if you're doing a weekly time frame, you can go back as far as five years. Uh, but I would say stick to this and you'll find you won't go wrong. I get a lot of people actually coming to me with these kind of problems uh, and it's normally going back to the data set rules. So thank you very much for your time, guys. Um, like I said, if you've got any questions or any comments on this video, please feel free to email me. You can contact me at info at tradethefifth.com.